I'm Kylie Moss and this is Social Care. A couple races this morning. We've had a lot this weekend, and a ra there's so much to talk about. A lot on home soil, uh, or meat on home soil. A lot of good energy here in Toronto. Um, first, like, what have you thought of your swims thus far at this meet? Yeah, it's been good. Um, I did Berlin the first stop, yeah. and then came back here, so um, felt a little bit of travel fatigue. But it feels so good to be home and to have family and friends here, and to see so many familiar faces. It, I think it just gave me the little boost that I needed and um, to get over that fatigue but yeah it's, it's early on in the season so I wasn't really expecting too too much just want to put together some good swims and work on some things that I've been thinking about and just see what I can do to build off of for the rest of the short post season. Yeah what are some of those things that you've been working on that you know especially somebody like you having I don't, um, you know been at a championship level for so long uh, I, you're chasing marginal gains, right? But obviously this is a different format, short course and long course, and you've se seen success in both, but what are some of those things for you right now in your career? Yeah, I think I recognize that my swimming is my strength, and short course, there's so much emphasis in, on underwaters and the smaller skills that I'm not as strong at, and over the last couple of years, I have gotten stronger at those skills, but um, at the same time, I still have a lot of room for improvement there. Um, and I recognize that at meets like this, when I'm racing next to some of the Americans, or Ingrid, or Maggie, uh, with some incredible underwater. So um, that's something I've really been focusing on, and just how I come off the wall, and how quickly I'm starting my kicks, and kind of just trying to put a couple extra kicks on after, off the turns. Um, so yeah, those are just kind of two small things I've been thinking about. What's your relationship like with Maggie? Do you feel like you can learn anything from her in underwaters, or are you just totally different swimmers? No, 100% I can learn stuff from her. She has incredible underwaters, and I'm fortunate she's one of my really good friends and someone I've got to know really well over the last couple of years, getting to train with her all of last year and the year before, I think. Um, and yeah, I, I've learned so much from her, swimming next to her, racing her underwaters. Um, it's insane, and I hope that I can continue to learn from her, and. Um, we can push each other. Um, this, this era of women's Canadian swimming is, I mean, I feel like you're, you're at the forefront of it and sort of a founding member of what seems to be just like, I would call it a resurgence, but it's certainly a, a golden era. Do you, do you sense that when you're at a meet like this at home or, you know, on home soil and like that with growth in the sport, with young girls swimming and idolizing you. What does that feel like from your position? Yeah, no, it feels, it feels amazing. I think that's a whole part of why I do this sport is to be able to inspire the next generation. And I know how much I admired so many role models in Canadian swimming growing up when I was a young club swimmer. So I hope that I can do the same for those coming behind me. And I'm incredibly honored and thankful to be a part of such a strong women's national team right now and men's national team um, they're coming up and I, I watch them put in the work every day and both males and females and, and it's, just, it's really inspiring to be a part of I think just says something about the culture that we've created and the people that you surround yourself with you surround yourself with the right people and um, you're all pushing for success I think amazing things can be done how far ahead do you look for planning what's coming in your career? Are you focused on just this season? Is it already looking at Paris? You're going beyond Paris? Yeah, no. I think obviously immediately this season, that's kind of my short-term outlook, but long-term obviously going into 2024, and I think that's where I'm just looking to right now. I know I'll, I'll see after 2024 how I feel and kind of reassess then. That's still a bit away, so I don't want to say that I'm going to be swimming or not swimming or whatever. I'll just take it from there when it comes. But um, yeah, definitely focusing into 2024 now and, and leaving, taking each opportunity that I get from now until then to build into that. What does success look like for you long term? Um, I think long term, obviously I want to I wanna be able to do this sport for as long as I love it and for as long as I have a passion for this sport. So I've 
been really fortunate to meet a ton of great people in the sport and um, travel to some really cool places. So I've, I've had some incredible experiences thus far and I hope that I can have some more for the next couple of years. But yeah, ultimately just being happy in what I'm doing and continuing to meet amazing people and to challenge myself on a day-to-day -day basis. What's the favorite pool that you've ever swam in? Ooh, um, I love the outdoor Rome pool, which is not something I would think I would say because outdoor swimming backstroke is not fun and it really, really challenges me some days. But um, that pool is really cool because it has the grid over top. Um, and I love the Budapest pool. Swam in there a couple of times now, but really fast pool. And um, yeah, I just like the environment there. Awesome. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you so much. it.